Good day everyone, so I finally re finished reassembling the pack that I had destroyed by leaving the commander on uh, for over three weeks. One of the group cell, groups of cells uh, had the voltage go down to practically zero, which uh, damaged the set, many of the cells. Uh, so I rebuilt the pack and I've reinstalled it here. So this is the pack that had, uh, that had been damaged and I've now reinstalled it and reconnected it. And I just wanted to show something I've, I've done to these uh, batteries all had uh, balance wires as you can see here and here but uh, this is our three cells in series so I, instead of having uh, three um, meters I've decided to use these combiners so I can only I can use just one so these meters uh, I'll show you the the voltage of, of each group of cells so here you can see the voltage of each group. So if one of the groups is a little bit higher than the other one, that's the, the new one that I built. Um, so I'll probably just try to balance that to bring it down a little bit more. It also gives you a feature of uh, approximately battery <coughs> state of charge at 52%. And here it gives you a bar graph of the capacity of the each voltage. So you can see the top one a little bit higher than the others. You all can see um, that tells you the minimum voltage uh, it's seen. So I used, this was on when I went for a little ride with it. And with hard acceleration, the voltage uh, drops. Uh, so you can see that one of the groups of cells, it drops more than the other ones. Uh, but that dot there is a three volt line. So as long as it doesn't go about below three volts, it's, it's okay. I guess that's to be expected using used cells. Uh, unfortunately, one of the groups have um, weaker cells or cells that can't deliver as much power. So I've got this one here and I'll show you. So these are the two batteries that are under the passenger seat and there's the two batteries that are in the front. Uh, one that's in the back here that you can't see and underneath also the this is the uh, DC to DC converter gives you 12 volts. It's also the charger, which I can't really use. Uh, as I explained in my other videos, uh, it's, it's um, programmed to do lead acid batteries, which is not appropriate for lead lithium. Um, so I've got these two wires here that I use to plug in an external charger. Uh, so this is a cheap charger I got of, of uh, from China. It's I think it's about sixty dollars. I, I set it at. Um, 53 volts, you can see there. It switches back down, so that's 53 volts is the max. So right now it's, uh, the light here is constant current, uh, meaning that it's limiting it by uh, the current. Once it gets to 53 volts, it'll switch to constant voltage. This light will go on, this light will go off until it stabilizes. Uh, like I said, this is slow but safe. I can still actually use the charger that's in the uh, commander just to make sure that I, uh, I don't let the voltage uh, get above 53 volts. So I have to unplug it before then. This one's uh, 18 amps. And with lead acid batteries, it always uh, increases the voltage uh, too high, so that would damage my cells. Here's another meter here. Uh, in the back here, I have uh, three groups of cells, and underneath is actually four groups. So it's a cell, seven cell. And you can see here, I have the same situation as the other ones, where um, one of the groups of cells is uh, weaker than the other ones. Uh, it, the voltage drops on this actual acceleration. But you can see they're actually pretty well balanced. It's 84 or 85. So all in all, pretty good. So I did use it a little bit over the winter time uh, by using one of these, the old lead acid batteries. Um, that's what, what came in the commander. Uh, they had eight of these. I reinstalled one of them in the place of the dead, dead uh, battery that was here, um, just to be able to use it a little bit. So I did didn't use much. Uh, you can see my mileage. I can read that. I'm at 58, 584.3. I don't remember how much it was, but uh, I'll check that after. Uh, unfortunately, with the lead acid battery, and uh, that was just not very good, and uh, lithium ion batteries don't work very well in the cold, especially the ones that are designed for, for laptops. So, 
uh, the voltage would drop pretty quickly on acceleration so not ideal for a winter vehicle but I don't use it much during winter time anyways so that's fine it uh, works great in the summer and I guess that's about it and um, I'll I'll be driving it uh, all summer and hopefully uh, have another year uh, with these cells that uh, I salvage from laptops talk to you guys later